Whether you work in a sprawling corporate office or in a home office, filing cabinets are an essential component of an efficient workplace. They keep your paperwork tidy, organized, and out of sight, yet just a drawer away. And when you're short on space, they make a handy counter for the coffee maker. Filing cabinets begin as sheets of cold roll steel, a thin type of metal that's easy to bend, weld, and paint. As the sheet comes off the roll, it goes through a straightening machine that removes the curve, then into a press whose dies punch out the shape of the specific part, complete with holes, slots, and embossments. A filing cabinet is made up of over 60 steel parts. For the top selling models, the factory has dies specially designed to punch out each part. But that's too costly a system for models that aren't mass produced. To make low volume or custom made filing cabinets, the factory uses this computer controlled punching machine. This equipment operates at a far slower speed than the presses we just saw. But the advantage is that it can be programmed to punch out any size, shape, or design, no matter how complex. Several filing cabinet parts are designed to be bent into shape. Workers do that manually using a machine called a press brake. This particular part will become the top of the filing cabinet, so they're making downward folds along the perimeter to create one and a half inch wide edges with strong and tight corner seams. This machine is called a dedicated bender because it only bends one type of part, the filing cabinet doors. The factory produces doors in such high volume that it pays to design a special machine to shape them. The doors are also bent downward along the perimeter to create edges half an inch wide with tight corner seams. The cabinet's base is welded from the same type of steel sheeting as the other parts. Small steel reinforcements make it rigid enough to support the excessive weight of file-filled drawers. To join the cabinet side and back, robots perform what's called resistance welding, fusing metal using heat from an electric current. The next set of robots welds the side and back unit to the cabinet top. After this, workers attach the base using what's called MIG welding, welding that adds extra metal along the joint to create a strong seam. Once again, it doesn't pay to invest in robotic welding equipment for models that aren't mass produced. They manually weld low volume items such as those small filing cabinets that roll under desks. In the paint department, rotary atomizers envelop the filing cabinets in a mist of paint that contains a synthetic resin for durability. These atomizers lace the paint particles with a negative electric charge. This draws the particles to a positive charge on the cabinets, creating a thorough and even coat. After 20 minutes in an oven to bake the paint, assembly can begin ball bearing sliders on which the drawers will sit, tracks for the fold down doors, and door stops so the doors can't be pulled off their tracks. There's also a locking system that simultaneously bolts both sides of each door, making the files inside inaccessible. The last step is to install the doors and drawers using a rubber mount so as not to damage the finish. Each drawer can support up to 200 pounds of files. An interlock system lets you open only one drawer at a time. This prevents the cabinet from toppling forward. Whether you work in a sprawling corporate office or in a home office, filing cabinets are an essential component of an efficient workplace. 
They keep your paperwork tidy, organized, and out of sight, yet just a drawer away. And when you're short on space, they make a handy counter for the coffee maker. Filing cabinets begin as sheets of cold roll steel. 